what's happening? Today I'm going to be making a beat by sampling this vinyl that I picked up today. I got this in The Searchers in Fitzroy, which is a really dope record store. And if you live in Melbourne or if you're visiting, definitely check it out. So what I'm going to do is get this loaded into the MPC and then I'm going to start building the beat from there. So let's get to it. So I listened through this earlier and I found something I thought would be quite nice to sample, so I'm going to try and get that into the MPC now. Okay, first things first, I'm going to get this open. Okay, so I've got my main loop here. I'm going to find the point that I want to take out of this. And I'm going to be making the beat with. Grab it on that downbeat right there. Sounds good to me. Put the zero snap on. Yeah, it's looking good to me. So I'll start finding the tempo now. saying about 77 BPM so I'll probably pitch that down a little bit so where are we right I'm going to take this sample out now extract it extract cool Now I've got my section that I've just taken out of the full recording that I made, so... Because that's four bars, what I'll do now is I'll trim that by BPM, and then that'll mean all 16 of my pads have got something coming out. Nice, so I've got that chopped into the drum pads now, so I'm going to pitch that down to... Yeah, it's sounding the way I want it to now, so let me try figure out a pattern. So I had to go in and fine tune that sample, it was really out of time, so I just had to go in, tighten all my chops on the downbeat. But I've come up with something that I like now. So we're at 73 VPM, 8 bars, and we're going to record this.
I was so out of time there, but shout out time correct. Yeah, so I like that. So what I'll do now is I'll process the sample a bit and then I'll get on to adding my own drums and bass. So I added the kill kick drum preset with this air kill EQ. So I like that. It does make it a bit thin, but it's all good. I'll throw in my own drums and then I'll see how that sounds. Actually, before I throw the drums under it, I'm going to put some delay and some reverb on there. Just make the sample sound a bit nicer. Let's go for the air delay. And I usually like the eighth delay. Just gives it a bit of a better bounce. Yeah. I'll turn it down a bit. Yeah, I like it at 15, so let me throw a reverb on there as well. Yeah, I like how this sounds. Air reverb with the silk preset makes it 15%. Yeah. All right, so I went through and I've picked out some drum sounds I like, so I'm just gonna record something in now. So I've processed my drums a little bit better, got them swinging a bit more and put some reverb on there. So this is how they're sounding now. Yeah, so I like the way they're sounding. Um, I want to throw this percussion on top of them. So I'm going to add that in just now. Overdub, play start. Okay, so I've got a bass sound I like now, and I'm going to record that in under the sample. So let me do that just now.
like in the baseline. Might just throw some effects on top of it, then call it a day. This is the effect I've got. Just gonna spice it up a bit. Put some effects. Get the reverb on there. Go for the large to deal, turn that down to about 40%. And then I'll hit it with the delay. Eighth delay, put it down to about 20. Nice, so I'll record that in. Cool, so I like how the beat sound and it's come together nice. Um, yeah, the sample's really sick. And yeah, like the drum's really simple, but they're just pushing the beat along. It's real nice, so yeah, I'll just play it for you now. Yeah. 